Hi, hello, welcome to STS 101, Science, Technology, and Society. Let's talk about Chapter 1. Chapter 1 is about the historical antecedents in the course of science and technology. The objective of this is to explain how science and technology affected the society and environment and vice versa. Second is to identify the inventions and discoveries that changed the world over the course of history. And last, discuss the scientific and technological development in the Philippines. As I said again, chapter one is the general concepts and historical antecedents of science, technology, and society. Under this, we're going to talk about the ancient times, the Sumerian civilization, the Babylonian civilization, the Egyptian civilization, the Greek civilization, the Roman civilization, the Chinese civilization, the medieval or the Middle Ages, the modern times, and last, the Philippine inventions. Now let's talk about the ancient times. The ancient times happens around uh, 3000 BC to 8500. That means 3000 before Christ and after death, 500 years after death of Christ. The ancient times more concerns on the transportation and navigation. We had communications and record keeping, mass production, security and protection, health, aesthetics for beautification and architecture, for engineering. Let's talk about first the transportation in the ancient time. First, they use human food to walk around and travel to find food. They concern with transportation and navigation. Transportation was significant during that time because people were trying to go places and discover new horizons. They traveled to search for food and find better location for the settlements. They traveled to trade their surplus goods in exchange for the things that they lacked. Navigation. They also find it, uh, they applied, uh, they learned later on that animals can be useful also for the transportation. But first they were just using their food. They carry their masters, their king and queen and their gods. Navigations help them in their journey to unfamiliar and strange places in the world. Communication is essential to discover and occupy new places, especially for trading of surplus goods in exchange. Record keeping is also very important to record all things they need to remember from their journey, such as the places, the people, and the trade they made. The mass production. People need to produce more food and supplies without traveling. They try hard, working harder, so try to develop, so they try to develop a technology that would enable them to ease, to increase their production. Weapons and armors were very important to establish new alliances with other tribes. This will be their source of security. Security and protections were always developed and was considered as the major achievement. Conservation of life. Different illnesses, disease, both natural and man-made, hampered 
the full potentials of a human being. So science and technology played a major role in the discovery of the cures, and if not, the prevention of illness. Analysis. The architecture. The development of engineering allowed a human to build their identity as a status symbol of the nation. They build their nation and how advanced their technology is. And aesthetics as well. The aesthetics will define their beauty and how their architectures were made. Next is Sumerian civilization. In Sumerian civilization, Sumeria is located on the southernmost part of the ancient Mesopotamia. There are two words here, Mesopotamia, Meso and Potamia or Potamos. Meso means middle and Potamos means river. Sumeria today is now can be found in southern Iraq from around Baghdad to the Persian Gulf. Their first contributions, great contributions, was the Kinefron, the first writing. The Oroch City, the great cigarette of ore, irrigations and dikes, sailboats, wheel, the plow and the roads. Their contributions first was significant is their cuneiform. This was the first writing system. This is how it looks like. This is happens around 2400 BC. The Uruk city. This is build the city using mud or clay from the river which they mixed up with reeds producing sun-baked bricks so basically it is uh, they made the building out of bricks this is how it looks like this is just a picture but not really real this is just an image this is how it looks like now. Next is Sumerian civilization's contribution. Another is the great cigarette of Ur. They call it the mountains of God. This is how it looks like. This is the picture, okay, the image of the great cigarette of Ur. Okay, this is the place where a lot of soldiers were having a tour. The irrigations and dikes, another contribution, is considered of the world's most beneficial engineering works. Through dikes and canals, they were able to enjoy year-long farming and harvesting, which increased their food production. Sailboats were also used to carry large quantities of products and were able to cover large distance. Wheel. The first wheel were not made for transport, but the main purpose for this is for food processes. The plow was invented also to dig the earth in order to make the farming faster to their pace. The roads, they invented roads in order to facilitate faster and easier travel. The road were the same materials they were used in making the sun-baked bricks, but later on they developed wherein they poured bitumen, a black sticky substance similar to the asphalt that we're using in our roads today. This is the smoothin to smoothen the roads, especially during rain, then that would make the roads, uh, the transportation easy and faster. 
the Babylonian civilization in Babylon. Babylonian civilization emerged near in Tigris and Euphrates River. That's in Middle East. Their first uh, great contributions was the Hanging Gardens of Babylon. It portrays in paintings, but there is no physical evidence that has been found to prove that the existence of Hanging Gardens of Babylon is really real. But there are paintings that show these Hanging Gardens as beautiful. This is how the image or the paintings look like. According to legend, the Hanging Gardens of Babylon was built by King Nebuchadnezzar II for his wife, Queen Amethyst. Next is the Egyptian civilization. Aside from engineering technology, the Egyptians have contributed other practical things that would now consider as essential. The greatest discoveries or invention contributed by the Egyptian was the paper or the papyrus. The papyrus was a plant. Although the Egyptians was not the first developed system of writing, they were able to make easier for the world. Paper was revolutionized around 3000 BC, although the Chinese also made their own paper or they invent their own paper, how they made it and what uh, kind of materials are they using. But uh, based on the evidence, uh, the timeline they got here was 3000 BC, wherein the Chinese has a timeline between 105 to 100 BC. This is the plant, how it looks like, and this is how they made. They cut the plants and they snap off. They get off, snap off, cut off the green color, and then they use the middle part, and then they squish out. They uh, use a roll to take out the slime or the jelly part or the um, watery part of the plant, and then they form uh, into like a cross cross uh, the next contribution of egyptians was the hieroglyphics this was the Egyptian system of writing using symbols. They believed that this writing system was provided by their gods. This is the image of their hieroglyphics. It can be seen as famous as their pyramids. To be continued. Thank you.